Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7. We are continuing on with the Summer of the Wolves, our daily Wolf Quest adventures here with the Starry Skies pack, the combination of the Moon pack and the Stormy Skies pack. And we are currently fighting off our wonderful Geo, our wonderful mate Geo. We are currently still fighting off the Curse of the Bear. So as you guys know, it has been a big struggle to try to keep our wolves taken care of this time. And we did lose our wonderful little wolf pup Diamond which was so sad because there are more bears than usual. The curse of the bear is really, really, really strong here on the traditional like Saddle Meadows den. And I'm not sure how things are gonna go down, but we only need to chase away a few more bears to be able to break the curse. So let's see where we're at. We are at 34 bears. So we only need to chase three bears away. Three more bears, Geo. And then the curse of the bear will be over. We will achieve like bear butt biting supremacy and we'll be able to leave and take our puppies to the summer hunting ground and hopefully have our three little boys survive until then. How are you doing, children? All right, let's see how they're doing. All right, everybody's just taking a nap. So we have Basil, Leo, or Leonis, and Kuma. And it is pretty hilarious how Kuma does mean bear in Japanese. So I'm kind of thinking Kuma would be an amazing... Ah, oh, Coyote! An amazing heir to the pack! Because ah, then he could come back and he could work on defeating the bear butt biting curse even more. I think if he is chosen... <gasps> There's the bear! The bear to bite the butt of! There's a bear! There's a bear right here! Gotta bite the butt! Don't die! Don't die, Star Dancer! Don't die! Please don't die, because then everybody dies. Oh gosh. Alright. Keep going! Keep going! One more! Alright. <gasps> Just two more bears to chase away, you guys! That's right! I'm gonna throw you down a cliff! Get out of here! Get out of here! That's right! Stay away from our babies! No bears! No bears! Nibbling on my babies! Get out of here! Choo! Choo! Oh, and the babies are getting hungry, actually. Just two more bears! Two more bears! And then we can leave for the summer hunting grounds and face all of the dangers that that has. Oh, gosh. All right, so how are things going? Any coyotes? Okay, we're doing good. All right, boys, do you want to eat? Come over and eat. Here you go, Kuma. But yeah, I think of Kuma because of his name, and I actually forgot that his name meant bear in Japanese when I named Kuma! You just say what I was trying to feed Basil. But I forgot his name meant bear in Japanese when I named him. So I think if Kuma ends up surviving, he might have like this special boost where for every five bears he chases away... Yeah, there you go, pup pups. He would be able to have uh, earned an ancestor blessing. But I think that a trade-off would be he would have to have always have a harder year than what he rolled to be able to keep that fair. So I think that would be Kuma's special trait. But Mira also has a special trait, if you guys recall, from uh, what you guys voted on for the adventures after the pups hit the summer hunting ground last time. All right, let's go ahead and eat a little bit off this carcass. Ideally, we won't eat all of this carcass. Oh man, we still need some of this. We might have to do some hunting. It's sort of a- feels like a dangerous time to hunt right now, doesn't it, Geo? Because I'm worried about what may happen to the pups all the way back at the den. But we might have to do some more hunting because we're running low on food. And we needed that food that we've been eating off of to survive the bear curse for getting to the summer hunting ground. Oh, I'm really sad about Diamond, and you guys are so sad about Diamond too. But that's why I warned you guys- <gasps> Another bear! Oh my gosh! It's the ninth bear! It's the ninth bear! Alright, no, 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 no! Oh, dang it, we got hit! Okay, but that's okay. We, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. That was the ninth bear. Boys! Hang in there! Just one more bear! One more bear! And then we will break the curse, and we will be able to leave. And the bear butt biting curse always does kind of kick up now and then. That sort of comes with this territory, but it also comes with being heirs to the Stormy Skies pack. Alright, there you go, Leo. I'm gonna have to go get you guys some more food in just a minute. Let me go ahead and mark territory. Uh, make sure you don't get eaten by stranger wolves who are coming to investigate everything. Alright, pups are safe inside the den. Gonna work on this. Just one more bear. If we can find just one more bear... Star Dancer, don't be too ambitious. I have a feeling she would just be ready to like take on- Oh, there it is! <gasps> the biggest, baddest, the last bear! Get out of here! Oh gosh! Back up, back up, back up! Geo's here. Geo's here to participate in the fight and to try to help out. <gasps> we chased him away! In two bites! It was a two bite, two butt biter! And we chased him away! That was the tenth bear! We're free, you guys! Oh, that's so satisfying! And our babies are still alive. Oh my goodness. 
All right. Let's go up and let's do another celebratory howl next to the boys. All right, kidlets, guess what? Oh, look at them. They're so like their daddy. That's so awesome. It is time to go. So we should be able to go ahead and we are going to start our journey now. Which means that immediately we have a eagle coming to try to eat our pups. Not cool. Not cool, eagle. Oh my gosh. All right, follow where the eagle is. Don't let the eagle glitch get you. Don't let the eagle glitch get you. And chase the eagle away. All right. All right, we chased it away. All right, come on, boys. We're going to start working our way down the cliffside. Oh, we did it. All right. So another harrowing chapter in the story of the Starry Skies Pack is now behind us. Unlike when we had to bathe the pups to get rid of the toxic flowers, it doesn't look like we lost a puppy unexpectedly during that challenge. It definitely was a huge challenge. I think that they would probably come back to the Saddle Meadows Den. Maybe, maybe not. I have a feeling Kuma definitely would because it's almost like fighting the bears has become part of their family heritage and lineage. So I could see that happening, like them choosing to stay here and continue having puppies here because they're not afraid. They're not gonna run away. They're wolves. They're not gonna run away every time we have our very first battle with something or every time a bear tries to come and eat us. We're gonna defend our territory. So I could definitely see Kuma deciding that he wanted to stay here. I wonder if Mira would potentially pick, if she won the poll, if she would potentially pick a different area. Time, I think for sure. Good job, Gio. Who are you bringing to us? Little Kuma. I think he's like, I like Kuma. I think that would be his vote. Looks like him. It would be a red wolf. And it would be a wolf who's got a natural talent for fighting bears. I could see how Gio would want to pick that. But yeah, I, I would say that if time got picked, she would pick the forest. So it would really be the wolves' personalities that would determine where they would go. Mira might pick here because it would be a nice traditional spot. Her family has lived here for quite some time. Okay, who's coming to try to eat Kuma? A bear! You're kidding me! No, get out of here! Oh! Oh my gosh, no! No! Oh my goodness! The bear! The lightning! The tree! It was almost like the lightning came down to try to defend everyone. And the bear was coming specifically for Kuma. Okay, I think we can go ahead and we can eat the like carcass right here, even though we try to save this for Wisp, who we say is still with us. I think we can go ahead and eat these couple carcasses, because... Wisp would definitely offer her food since Star Dancer is gravely injured. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's finish up these carcasses and then we can continue moving to the summer hunting grounds. That bear. Oh, you're kidding. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. Oh my gosh. Okay, puppies. Oh, please don't be the eagle glitch. Please. Okay, there's the eagle. Don't be the eagle glitch. Don't be the eagle glitch. Don't be the eagle glitch. And get out of here. Okay, did I chase it away? We chased it away! The eagle glitch didn't get him this time! <gasps> oh, my little heart! Ah, oh, lightning! Oh, tell, tell me that's another... Okay, is that another eagle coming? I'm gonna have to feed the boys at some point. Oh, jeez, lightning everywhere! <laughs> it's just, I feel like the stormy skies is like trying to cheer us on, chase away the eagles, chase away the bears. And the moon pack is, like, the stormy skies is a lot more direct, but the don't get it wrong, the moon pack is definitely contributing to trying to t protect their pups and trying to protect the family lineage too. Just they do it in more direct ways of, like, strength and power. All right, let's keep moving. Hopefully we can at least make it down to the river today and safely make it across. Geo is... There he is. He was looking at something. It was almost like he was looking where we lost little Draco. <laughs> When we lost little Draco in the in the pond. That was a very sad time. Alright, there's a lot of food right there. Alright, you brought basil this time. Thank you, Geo. He's doing really good. We should be able to make it to the river today. We've defeated the tenth bear. We're working our way over to the river. There's food across the river. And as sad as it is that we lost Diamond, it does make a big difference when we only have so many wolf pups to feed. <gasps> oh look at Rabbit Foot! Lucky rabbit foot! Sweet! Lucky rabbit foot from Grandpa Atlas! That was really sweet. Alright, who's the hungriest? Alright, Basil, Leonis. Alright, Basil, apparently your dad is feeding you. I'm gonna say he had one of the lucky rabbit's feet. So we'll feed Leo, and then maybe we'll feed Kuma a little bit. 
Don't want to use up too much of the food, but there we go. So everyone's doing really well. We should hopefully be able to get a move on across the river, no problem. With this big, healthy, happy family. These are some pretty good boys. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty strong wolf pups. All right, so let's continue onward. The crossing is down over here. Let's see if I can get all the babies safely across today. Oh, please, no eagle glitch. No eagle glitch. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Not cool, uh-uh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no. Ah, uh, plane. Ah, uh, my teeth are so gritted. This is one of her personal challenges, though. Is it? It's another bunny? What? It's another... Help? Okay. Ah, oh, there's the plane! We actually saw it! Wow! I didn't know you could actually see it. Is it gonna crash? Huh. Off it goes into the distance. Alright, I think being able to actually have seen it that time and watch it have, like, gotten further and further away... I think that would have kept uh, Star Dancer calmer than usual when it just sounds like some terrifying force that she can't really identify like where it's coming from. All right, so now we need to get across the river with our pups. So we need to convince them, come on boys, to come as close as they can. That was pretty lucky. I kind of, here, I'm gonna go back for the lucky rabbit's foot really quickly. Hopefully that's not an unlucky decision. Let me eat this real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, there we go. Gonna go back for it. No, don't prank Basil. Ah, Coyote! What are you doing? Gotta get Coyote! Alright, get out of here. Don't eat our babies. Come on, come on, come on. Is that a rabbit too? What? There's more There's more rabbit here to eat, Geo. Maybe that's what attracted the Coyote. Oh, there we go. Basil, come here, son. Alright, we're gonna move you over here with your brothers. There we go. Alright. So almost to the river. That's actually a big journey down from the den over to the river in a day. Bringing our puppies with us. They're not weaklings anymore, Geo. So it's not like... And there's an elk right behind us. So maybe we should feed him now. Good job, Geo. Yeah, feed him now while we still have a couple excellent food sources to eat off of. Alright, oh, there we go. Okay, he's making sure. I feel like Kuma is kind of a favorite of Geo. Not gonna lie, really think that he has a bit of a soft spot for that one of our sons. I mean, come on, he's picking him up, he's fed him like twice, he's picked him up twice. I'm pretty sure Gio has a soft spot for Kuma. Leonis, please no. Okay, eagle, 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 I'm gonna get you. Okay, back off, back off, back off. Okay, there's the shadow. Follow the shadow. Not Kuma, not the puppies, not any of the babies. Chase the eagle away. Oh, thank goodness. All right. And Basil's sitting inside of a little hole. And let's see if I can find the safe spot to cross over here. Uh, this looks like it's a little bit too thin. Do I need to go further down? Maybe I need to go further down. Did I overshoot things? I think it's over here. Yeah, right here. Okay, so this will be the spot to try and bring our puppies and move them across. Okay, so Kuma is hiding right there. Leo's hiding right here. Let's see if we can get one or two of the puppies across the river today, at least. All right, so take a deep breath. You can do this, Star Dancer. Okay, full stamina, and then run, 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 run. And then puppy goes down. And then howl to distract Geo, please. Geo, no. Geo, Basil, no. And he's off. <sighs> And now we have left Basil in the paws of his father. Because he Basil has been kidnapped. He's gone with Geo. And we're just going to have to cross our fingers and hope that nothing more terrible happens to him. <laughs> Basil, why? Oh, Basil was the one kidnapped this time. All right, got to get... Okay, and Kuma is now across the river. All right, pups. We're going to get moving. And the sooner we can catch up with them towards the summer hunting grounds, the sooner the likelihood that we'll be able to keep Basil alive. So we've got to get moving because Basil is currently off wandering across the place with Geo. And the faster... Come on, children! What are you doing? <laughs> no, pup pups. Come on. <laughs> we've got to go rescue your brother. Your dad has is attempting to take a different route. 
We've got it. We've got to come over here. Come on. Gotta go rescue your brother. Alright, there you go. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, and we're gonna try to catch up to Geo and Basil. And we'll see if we can keep Basil alive. Kuma, Leo! You're not that close to the river. And I'm gonna have to bring our shell-shocked puppies. I feel like they're sort of in shock from being in the water. And I'm gonna have to bring them- Come on, Leo! Come on! Bring them away from there. And see if we can catch up with Geo and Basil before it's too late and we lose little Basil. Oh boy. So here comes this predictable yet difficult part of the journey. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye